I was absolutely shocked to find out I have lung cancer. Being 41 at the time and a non-smoker and a registered nurse that takes care of lung cancer patients every day, it seemed like there's no way it could be happening to me. I think unless you're a smoker, that it's not very high on the differential list for a medical doctor. Um, if you're not a smoker, then you come in with a cough and some weight loss. I don't think lung cancer is going to be the first thing to jump to someone, a provider's mind. If you have lungs, you can get lung cancer. Lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer death in Maine for both men and women. Each year, more people die of lung cancer than of colon, breast, and prostate cancers combined. About 80% of lung cancers are caused by smoking. However, there are other things that can cause lung cancer. Many people are surprised to learn that people who have never smoked can get lung cancer from a genetic mutation or other causes. Another big risk for lung cancer is radon. The bad news is Maine has high levels of radon in most parts of the state. The good news is that there are tests available to detect radon in your home. Radon in Maine is a major problem. Uh, radon is a naturally occurring radioactive gas uh, that comes prom prominently up from the soil uh, where it enters people's homes. Radon as a radioactive gas enters your lung and it decays, releasing high energy particles that damage the cells and can cause cancer. Radon is actually believed to be the second leading cause of lung cancer after smoking. Maine has many uh, areas that are known to have a high frequency of radon containing rocks in the soil. Most of the state is rated as being very high risk for radon by the US EPA. I was diagnosed with um, stage three lung cancer in 1998, and my doctors asked me if I'd had my home tested for radon. 20 years ago, I had no idea what radon was, and I did have my home tested, and I had radon in my home over the EPA. Um, limit, which is four picocuries per liter. If you have uh, four picocuries per liter of radon in your home, you should have it mitigated. Having that level in your home is equal to 200 x-rays every year, or eight cigarettes per day. Testing for radon is actually very easy. Most of the labs that provide test kits here in the state of Maine will actually provide the kit themselves free of charge, although they will charge a lab fee to process the test. Most labs are using just a very simple vial type of test where a homeowner takes that vial and they put it down in the lowest level of their home. They open up the vial, to the, expose it to the air, and two or three days later they close it up and mail it back to the lab. It's as simple as that to actually test your own home for radon. If you have high levels of radon in your home, uh, you then need to have it remediated which is just a fancy way of saying have it fixed. But a contractor can walk you through some options. And then once the contractor installs the system, it'll just run continuously to vent radon out of your house uh, into the air where it won't harm you. If radon is found in your well water, um, that can cost a little bit more to have that filtered out. Uh, so again, you'll want to work with a contractor who uh, specializes in addressing radon in water. I would say there are three key things that we can do to protect Maine families from radon. The first would be to require that all new homes be built uh, with radon preventive features in accordance with the Maine radon standard. The second would be to require that all homes get tested for radon at the point of sale. And the third would be to find some mechanism to create a self-sustaining fund to help pay for radon mitigations for low-income households where they can't support the cost of radon mitigations themselves. If you're a tenant in a rental property, Maine law requires that all rental properties be tested for radon and that those radon test results get disclosed to prospective tenants prior to signing the lease. Defeating lung cancer is important to me and to many Mainers and to members of the Maine Lung Cancer Coalition. If you have a cough that won't go away or unexplained weight loss, please talk to your doctor. 
If you haven't tested your home for radon, please consider doing so. If you need help, reach out to the Maine Center for Disease Control and Prevention Radiation Control Program or talk to your doctor about your lung health.